Hey guys, we're, we want to do another podcast and we decided to do this one live. We're actually at Lander University. Behind us is the Christmas tree and the fountain. Uh, we just went and had a great time as a family. Uh, what we like to do in, in our, as a couple and as a family is just to get out of the house and do things. You know, a lot of times people wait for vacations and they save up and all that kind of stuff is great. Those make memories, but I think we make a lot of memories um, just by doing little things like this. We found out last minute and we decided, let's go. Let's take our family. Let's get out of the house. Let's have some fun. Just making the most of our time and making memories. Uh, we just had some uh, s'mores. We did some ornaments. Caleb got to do some jumping in like a giant globe. We had a lot of fun. What do you think, babe? Yeah, it's been really fun. So that's one of our keys to a great marriage is be spontaneous. You don't always have to plan it. Thank you, pilgrims. So they're our neighbors and they work at Lander and they let us know that this was going on tonight. It was completely free. So we didn't have to pay for anything. So we just went and had a dinner at Chick-fil-A and then came out here and had some fun together. And it's way better than just sitting in the house. So um, be spontaneous. That is one of our keys to a great marriage. Hey guys. I encourage you to do the same thing. Look for things to do. Just don't wait for the big moments. Make every moment a big moment. So get out of the house, have some fun with your kids, make memories, make uh, memories with your spouse. Just, just have fun with, with your life. Uh, make the best of what you have, okay? We'll see you next time. Can you your name? My name's Herbie. And we have his dad, Herbie. Give up this guy's. We have the Lander Art Department. Give it up for the Lander Art Department. You guys, a nice look. Take a nice look. How do you feel? How are we feeling, guys? Hi guys, so we're back for another edition of our podcast, and so today we wanted to invite some guests. Uh, so we have Madison and Blaine, <laughs> and it's been crazy, this is our fourth take, but we're going to do this this time. Um, so we want to ask them and get their opinion, because we want to kind of have a, a different variety when we talk about marriage, uh, we want to think outside the box, and we really want to, we don't want you to think just like we do, we just want to impart what we know and and just kind of teach and, and kind of guide. So we want to ask Blaine and Madison, what are you looking for the most in marriage? So we'll start with Madison. What do you look forward to the most in marriage? Um, I love companionship and I always love to be surrounded by other people. So I think it's really cool that when I get married, I have somebody that's always there and <laughs> somebody I can take shopping and grocery shopping and get a house with and have a family. All those things are really exciting. Blaine, what about you? I'm mostly excited for like having a teammate, like somebody to always be there for you and you can go through any problems that you have, like work through them with that person. I mean, that, that's good, right? I, I think we have a lot of expectations when we're younger as to what marriage will be. I mean, we don't always know what that's going to look like. Um, but knowing already that nobody wants to be alone. And I think that's what most people look forward to when they get married is to have that companionship. Teenager, I don't really, I don't know what I look forward to. I probably had different expectations based on what I saw and on TV and things like that. I don't think they really, I don't think marriage ended up anything like what I thought. It was actually much better, but I learned along the way that it, it did take a lot, a lot of work and a lot of patience and things like that. So do you think that marriage is what you expected it to be? Um, yeah, and I mean, it ain't a lot more. I've learned a lot along the way, but I think, I think as women, we tend to have like really high expectations. Madison, I talked about this the other day about, I used to be the girl that like when Herbie would go in the gas station to pay for our gas, like I would get upset if he came back to the car and hadn't like bought me something like a piece of candy or something like how dumb, but like I used to be that kind of person. I told you I was selfish, um, on the last podcast. But so I learned to like take my expectations and like 
bring them way down. Like, you know, what our first Christmas looked like with kids and what I had envisioned in my mind was not at all what that first Christmas ended up looking like. You know, it was a lot of like, you know, I don't know, having a six month old, like, you know, we opened her presents for her and she didn't really know what was going on. And I don't know, you know, it just starts to look a little bit different than what you thought. But um, along the way, it's just gotten to where we've learned a lot and we've grown a lot. And um, yeah, it's way better than what I, anything I ever thought that it would be. I didn't realize it was, it was as much work as it was though, but it's worth it work. Well, I mean, I, I think that's part of it, you know, and, and she touched on something that I had to learn. I didn't realize that she had those expectations, you know, until she told me. So if you even today have expectations and they're not being met, maybe you should talk to that person that you're expecting them from and just express how you feel. If you expect something, you're not going to get it. They don't know. No one, no one's a mind reader. Uh, Madison, it's the holidays, right? We got Thanksgiving, we got Christmas. What do you think is your favorite holiday going to be once you have your own house and you're married your first year? Uh, Christmas. Christmas is my favorite. I'm the person that, like, I put my Christmas tree up, like, third day in November or something crazy. Um, but one thing that I've actually learned recently, um, just, like, going to Guatemala and stuff, is that Christmas is a lot, and all the holidays, are a lot more than what I've always made them out to be, just because I kind of looked at them very superficially. And I kind of, like, once we came back from that mission trip, realized that, like, it wasn't really about the presents and things like that. Almost like, you know, the Grinch. Like, I just had this moment of, like, realizing that, you know, like, I didn't really need anything else and stuff like that. So I think it'll be fun, like, having somebody when I'm married for Christmas. Just, you know, because, like, I've always wanted to, like, take a trip or something like that instead of just, like, doing presents or something. And, like, have experiences rather than the presents and stuff around Christmas time, but. What about you, Blaine? What, is it, what do you think is your, your favorite holiday, or the one you look forward to the most as being out of your, your house now into your own home with your spouse? Honestly, I think it'd be Christmas for me, too. And, like, to my parents and everything, it's obviously more than just presents because they have to work so hard for everything just to, like, have everyone together. And it'd be that way for us, too, like, just to have each other and not base it all around, like, gifts and things. Mm. Yeah. And put a tree up. Like, <laughs> eight trees. Like, seven, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> you better start collecting now, boy. Yeah, you know, most people's favorite holiday is Christmas. And it's a great time. Um, we have Christmas coming up. We do have Thanksgiving coming up. You know, I encourage you to uh, spend as much time you can as you can with your families. Make the most of it. Make memories. You know, gifts are nice. But the greatest gift is obviously Jesus. Uh, but make sure you spend that time with each other this year. Um, make the most of everything. You don't know what, how many you have left. Um, so as we, you know, we want to talk to you a little more. Uh, our next podcast, we want to talk about the holidays a little more and about some of our traditions. And maybe you guys can chime in at the bottom. Tell us some of your favorite traditions, some of your favorite meals, some of your favorite memories, those types of things. Have a little fun with it. Um, uh, so that's what we're going to come to you with next. So you have anything else? No. No? All right. We'll see you next time.